Hello, this is Bonnie Boots, and today I'm going to show you one of the most useful free tools on the Internet. It's Google Alerts. If you're not already using Google Alerts, I think you'll be amazed at how much service it can offer you, and it's all for free. The easiest way to find it is to go to the Google search page, type Google Alerts into the search bar, click the button, and the very first link that comes up will be for Google Alerts. Just click on that, and here's the Google Alerts page. Now, a Google Alert is an email update of the latest relevant search results for any term that you specify. To create a new Google Alert, you use this box that's on the right-hand side of the page. You enter in a search term for anything that you want Google to look for. Now, today I'm making a birthday present for my husband. He's crazy about motorcycles, and I'm setting up a website for him that will let him blog about that topic. So I want to search for the term motorcycles, M-O-T-O-R-C-Y-C-L-E-S. I can choose if I want just news or if I want blogs, if I want web, if I want a comprehensive look at everything, if I want just videos, or if I want groups. Now, I like to choose comprehensive because that shows me a good selection of results that are everything on the web, whether they're in a blog, a forum, a newsletter, a website, there's a chance that Google will see it. Uh, you can choose to have Google email you results once a day, as it happens, or once a week. I'm not expecting him to work on this website too often, so I'm going to choose once a week. For websites that I run myself, I have several of them that are set to give me results every day because I want to update those blogs every day. And I'm going to type in his email address here. and click Create Alert, and Google is now going to email the email box I specified and ask me to verify that link. Now once I go to my email box and click on the link that Google has sent me to verify that that is indeed my email, Google will start emailing me once a week search results for the term motorcycle, and it will have search through news through blogs, through videos, and other things, because I asked for a comprehensive search. But it occurs to me that people who are looking for news on motorcycles don't just say motorcycle, they also use the word choppers. So I'm going to go back and create another Google Alert for just that, the word choppers. Once a day I'm going to ask for comprehensive. Once a day I'm going to ask them to mail me once a week. And I want it sent to that same email address. So now I have two Google Alerts set up for the same topic using two different words, motorcycles and choppers. And that will give me a pretty good look at new things that are being said about that topic. Now, here's a look at the sort of thing you can expect to find in your email box once you set up a Google Alert. I have previously set up for myself a Google Alert asking for the search term pain relief. That's because I publish a newsletter called Pain Health News that reports on pain management techniques for people with long-term and chronic pain. I've asked Google to send me a search daily, and I've asked it to send me a comprehensive search. And remember, a comprehensive search is looking through news, through blogs, through websites, through videos, just about anything that turns up on the web with these terms in it. The first result Google has shown me is titled Pelvic Pain Relief. It looks like a newspaper story probably from Detroit, Michigan in the United States and refers to a woman who has had pain since 1989. This is appropriate to my topic of long-term chronic pain so I'll be looking at that later. The second result, well, this is very interesting to me, healing with radio waves and says it's particularly effective for pain relief. That's the first one I'm going to check out. That could be very interesting to my readers. Farther down I've got Pain at the pump, still no relief in gas prices. Now, Google did a great job of finding my two search terms, pain and relief, but in this case it applies to financial pain, not physical pain, so that's not going to be of so much interest to my readers. Google has shown me here results for blogs. Here's all the blogs I found today where the term pain relief turned up, and I don't really see anything that would be very interesting to my readers. So I got two very good hits here today, a news story 
and then some research on a new form of pain relief using radio waves. So these are both things I'm going to check out. And you can use your Google Alerts the same way I do. Uh, you can use them to make new blog posts. You can use them as the basis for writing your own articles for your own website or for easing article directories. You can use this as the foundation of uh, information you write in books or reports that you put out as new products. You can just use this to look for your own name on the internet and see how you're being reported on or places where your websites or products are turning up. So that's the scoop on Google Alerts. I'm Bonnie Boots, and you can find me at my online magazine, theinternetwizards.com.